Hello and welcome to week three. This week we're going to focus on applying analysis. So you will review analytical strategies and create a writing plan using the elements of critical analysis. You have two assignments due this week. 3-2 assignment, which is your first milestone, your writing plan draft, and 3-3 three, three, a temperature check, which is an analysis. So I want to go over briefly the critical analysis essay, which is due later in the course, because this is the writing plan that you're writing for that essay. When writing this essay, you're going to consider questions like, what is the author's main argument? Whether you agree or disagree with the author? Is the author's argument strong or weak? And can you find evidence from the text to support your opinion? Each one of these tabs will give you the opportunity to learn about some general tips that help create a strong critical analysis essay. And again, your links to your essays that you'll be writing about are here. Your first assignment that will be graded is your milestone one, which is your writing plan draft. This is something that I'm going to grade, so I want to make sure to go into some detail on this since it is a large assignment. This assignment will relate to author's claim, key points, audience, your goal, evidence, feedback, and revision. So I want to make sure that you realize that each response will be one fully developed paragraph of five to eight sentences. So this is going to be a lengthy assignment. And remember, just like previous assignments, you want to use the writing plan boxes as a jumping off point. I won't have access to the prompts themselves, so you need to make sure you include those in your paragraphs. So let's take a moment and look at those. Let's look at number two. Have you identified new key points that the author uses to try to achieve his or her goal in the selected article? If so, include them here. If not, restate the key points you established in your writing notes assignment and explain why the key points from your writing notes have remained the same, even after conducting an active reading of the article. You need to answer this in five to eight sentences. So don't say, no, I didn't find them. That is too vague. I don't know what you're answering. You could say, yes, I have found additional key points, and then go into the remainder of the explanation. Or you can say, the key points I found in the writing notes assignment are still the ones I'm going to stick with, and then explain why. Five to eight sentences, and you have a total of seven boxes. So that's seven five to eight sentence paragraphs. So we're looking at something that's going to be over two to four pages long. Let's take a moment to look at that rubric for this assignment. I'm gonna go down here to the boxes. So you will be looking at the author's claim, the key points, the audience, your goal, the evidence, revision strategy, feedback, and the articulation of response. So each one of these is fairly heavily weighted. Finding evidence is worth 32 points. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you spend some quality time on that one because if you do not do well on that assignment, it's not going to go well for the rest of the assignment. And the articulation of response. Submission has no major errors related to grammar, spelling, syntax, or organization. So make sure that you are proofreading and running a spell check. If you have access to Grammarly, that's even better. Um, because you want to make sure that, that I understand exactly what you are trying to say. So you have to be very clear in your writing. Your temperature check analysis, which is assignment 3-3, is something that you do on your own. It will be counted as a completion grade. So make sure that you are answering this because it does go into the grade book. Please let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye!